So you have been actively like thinking how to ignore this DM or how you're going to go about it because what I'm getting is you like you can't what is that word like you can't predict what they're going to do like they're very unpredictable maybe they're so quick to just leave and move on and or ignore you or just whatever so they're very unpredictable and you can't take anything they say you know as like the truth or like you can't believe in that you know so you want to ignore this person so yeah, because the DM took so long to offer you something, you are very guarded and you have this pent up kind of irritation with them because they left you. <clears throat> That's what I'm getting in this reading. So this DM is basically, they could be watching you or they're just realizing or seeing in general that like, they didn't work on things with you. They were very, you know, they were juggling. They were with this person. They were with you or they were with that person. And they they feel like they left out in the cold their stability. So, in their mind, you are um, someone who could have brought a lot of stability in their life. And they feel like they just left that in the cold like it was nothing. Like, so, they're defensive because they were under the understanding that they were going towards happiness joy love happy whatever and that just didn't happen with this lover whoever they went to right so they are have become they're in a very toxic energy currently they're very obsessive over you and what they're mostly obsessing over is the fact that even if they did come in, you could just say no. Or if they are feeling like you would go off on them, yell at them, say what you need to say, call them out. And whatever this is, this kind of scares them a little bit. It causes them a little bit of anxiety because they're very aware of what they did to you and how they didn't treat you the correct way. So they basically know that even if you were to go off on them, like, you know, it's they did this like they treated you like shit okay so and what is causing them to think about this a lot more now is because this third party situation is over so this could be because they wanted it over or the third party ended it but this is over or in their mind they're like okay this is a dead end situation okay so definitely want to work on things with you definitely 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 they want to see you face to face and they're very regretful because it's almost like they're like watching you or if they're not watching you, they're just thinking about all the memories and they're just stuck in their damn brain. And they're just looking, you know, they're just like, damn, <laughs> they're pissed, they're mad. They're like, oh, like, I'm, you know what I feel like? It's like, damn, like I did this to myself, you know, like I did this to myself. So it's not like I could be angry. I'll just be regretful. They feel like you're a very independent single person. Like you take care of yourself. You take care of your money. You got your shit together. And even if you don't have all your shit together, this is how they're feeling. So they might be very emotional. I don't know if you guys have ever seen their emotional side. They might try to hide it. But they're very emotional. And I'm getting that they're crying in bed. So I'm getting this vision that they are in bed crying. Like just tears. Like damn. I feel like I'm about to cry. I swear to God. Like I feel tears coming through my eyes okay so they want to impulsively come to your house or your job so if they don't know where you live or where your job is they 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 might even be going to places where they think you might be or they might be in the car just hoping that they freaking see you like they're just thinking of your memories and they're holding on to these with everything they have in them they feel like you snuck off and healed so yeah they feel like you sneakily healed and i'm feeling like this is because you're not chasing them you're not reaching out to them and you sort of just went and like not disappeared but you know what i mean like you just you weren't like oh is it okay if i leave no you just left and you freaking did the damn thing and you healed from the situation or you're in the midst of healing so I'm getting that it's been a little bit since you guys have spoken and they're trying to be strong. They really are like that might even be if they haven't contacted you like they're trying to be strong. They're trying to keep that ego up. 
they have this mental clarity that they 100% want to offer this. So whether it's now, whether it's later, they know in their brain, I want to do this. I want this. Like, and I'm also getting that they are going to impulsively come towards you. So whether this is a message, whether this is face to face, they're going to impulsively do something. Okay. Yeah. I'm really getting, I don't know if he knows where you live or where you work, but I'm like getting that they're going to go to your house or your job. But if they don't know where you live or you just feel like they wouldn't do that, they're going to impulsively reach out and they want to meet with you. So they're, they're having this conflicted energy because they feel like you went off to do your own thing and you went to do this new adventure, whether that's a business, whether that's something creative, whether that's just you moving on to have you know your new life away from them. They're conflicted about that. It's like they feel stuck because they didn't offer you enough. They were offering you very tiny things, thinking that you would just take it because they're so used to everyone else doing that, right? So you wouldn't. So they're definitely thinking about that. So I don't know if you know this, but they did go off to be in a commitment with another feminine energy. So they I'm really getting 100% that they went into another relationship with a feminine and they thought this was going to be a balanced relationship. It was going to be equal give and take. And he, he, he took very, he was very okay and happy with being in this relationship because he was the boss or he felt like he was the boss or she'll always be there and you know she'll do what i tell her to do i need her to ride she'll do it i need this she'll do it i need i need her to buy this for me she'll do it so in his brain in that moment not him but masculine in that moment the masculine was like this is my wish so they very much thought that this was the one so they're feeling like spirit literally gifted you to them and like this was their justice in life. All of the bad shit they've been through, all of the terrible things, terrible people, all of the people they can't trust, all the things they can't trust. You were their justice. You were their justice from spirit. And they are realizing this and they're realizing it's done. And if it's not done in your brain, they're thinking it's done and they are free. they're mad like they're not mad at you they're mad at themselves okay because they could have had the family they could have had the happiness they could have had the home with you okay so this is burdening them they didn't make that decision and they want to come in and offer you something and have this whole new beginning with you and they're starting to use their intuition that you were that you were like their new start in life you were supposed to bring in this new positive energy this non-toxic energy that they're so freaking used to and they're just heartbroken man. they want to communicate they're tired of this toxic shit like i like in the beginning it was fun it was a, like they felt like you know it was just good in the moment they were fine with that toxic shit in the moment but toxic shit gets old okay so now they're just left being confused so How is the DM feeling towards the DF? How is the DM feeling towards the DF? Okay, right now he's feeling like he wants... I keep saying that. The masculine wants to give you justice because they're, they realize your worth, okay? They're realizing that you were literally a gift from spirit. You were supposed to be that new start for them, this new start in life, this new fresh start that was actually positive and non-toxic. And they took their time with you and now they're guarded against that. Like they want to be, they want to be this boss leader they want to be in this boss leader role and take the initiative to come and manifest this because you are their wish fulfillment. But they just can't help but to think that this might just be over because it might have not ended in the best way the last time you guys spoke. So they're seeing this. They're realizing this. And they they genuinely feel like they snuck away from their happiness, okay? So they feel like they ignored and ran away from their happiness and all be all. Yep, they left, they left you in the cold, or this is what they're thinking, that they left that in the cold, and they left the stability, the home life, like I said, the family life, everything. They just left that to go be with this money-hungry feminine. This money-hungry feminine, they were with this person because this feminine was toxic, maybe was supplying them with drugs. If not, this feminine was just giving them that codependent that, oh, we'll always be there for each other. Even if we fight, even if we go through the worst things, we'll always be there for each other. And, you know, she, this feminist got all this money, like, 
you know, I don't know how this is going to end, but I'm just go for it. This is the easiest thing. This is the fastest thing. This is the best, most reliable thing. So they went towards it. You healed. You built up your strength. You started working on yourself and your happiness. And now they're burning because they haven't spoke to you in a while. Yeah, they just didn't make that decision to offer you what they should have been offering you. Okay. So now they want to come in and they want to offer you something. They might even want to come in and be like, you know. They might really be reminiscing on, like, your sexual life, if you ever had sex with this person. Or they're just, like, damn, like, I could have had sex with this person. But they just know that you're on the defense. They know that you might just tell them off. So they still want to work on things with you, though. They're just going back and forth because they're just defensive for some reason. Okay, they're getting mental clarity. I don't know what this is. They got mental clarity about this third party, and this is what make, is making them want to come towards you even more now. Because they're just regretting the third party overall. And they're very emotional about this, man. They're not even, like, sleeping correctly. They feel like what they did was a very impulsive decision. And now they feel like they're stuck with their decisions that they have made. And it's almost like, okay, I made my bed. I have to lie in it. And I'm just going to be miserable. They're definitely holding on to you. Definitely conflicted over this ending with you. Because they feel like you're unaffected. You're independent. You're getting your money. You're good without them, right? Like I said, even if you're not, this is how they're feeling and they definitely want a commitment with you and they're definitely heartbroken in the worst way and they want to make everything good with you because they're just confused over this whole situation